take that, Supes? Uh, no way, because Superman would totally melt Deathstroke's guns with his heat vision in like two seconds. That's why Deathstroke carries a sword. Can we just open up Injustice Game of the Year edition and fight this fight for real? Ooh, I'd like to do that, but we're giving that game away on today's show after I play it with Jovenshire from Smosh Games. Okay, you're a move player. Uh-oh, bad news. Bam, 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 king me. You don't know how to play chess, do you? No, I do not. So I'm a huge Arrow fan and this season has been amazing because they've been introducing so many new characters and I'm so happy to have Cynthia here because they're introducing Amanda the Wall. Waller, what have you done to really make this character your own? What's really wonderful about working on a series based off a comic book is there's just so much material. So as soon as I found out that I was going to play this character, it was like, time to do some homework, time to do some serious reading. So doing some research and getting ready for this character, are there any storylines that you're hoping that you maybe get to dive into? What I think is really cool is, you know, when we first meet Amanda Waller, initially we are, we're not really sure, is, is she a good guy, is she a bad guy? So that's kind of left uh, a little vague. So I kind of like that idea that, you know, whatever you see Amanda Waller doing, I'm sure she has her reasons and she probably thinks her reasons are perfectly good ones. Superman Wonder Woman is both a huge superhero team-up event and a nice little love story. Was that really hard to work on? Well, it's a big mixture, you know, because you got you want the action and adventure that you expect from something that would have Superman and Wonder Woman team up. But at the same time, now that they're involved in a relationship, you have, you know, what comes with the relationship. And that would include, you know, meeting the other person's family. I mean, who wouldn't approve of soups, right? I mean, the guy's got a lot going for him. Well, since some of Wonder Woman's family includes gods, and in this case we're talking about Apollo, a sun god facing Superman. And if you are familiar with the Superman lore, this gets really crazy with issue number two, because they kind of, kind of take his measure, if you will. Hey you guys, I am here right now with Zack Snyder and Kevin Smith. This is just after the live fan event talking all about the Man of Steel DVD release. First off, don't bury the lead. We are standing on a set from Man of Steel 2. This is Bruce Wayne's apartment. No, it's in. not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep going. So being a fan and being a director, if you could you know, talk about any comic books that you would hope to see a little bit of in the next film. Here's what I think <laughs> about adapting comic books to film. I don't, I don't want to see in this movie, and I don't think Zach's trying to do, uh, Frank Miller's The Dark Knight mm -hmm. Returns. That will deserve its own movie, and God mm -hmm. willing, one day he's going to do it. No, that would be absolutely it. Somebody's going to get there, and if anybody's going to get there, it's him. If you were going to do that, you'd have you'd need a different Superman. So that's like, it, we're, we're bringing Batman into the universe that, that now this Superman lives in. Think about how many comic book stories they've done over the years in the hands of how many different creators, oh. everybody having a different take on it. Oh. Now you've got the tools in filmmaking to actually make movies that look like these comic mm -hmm. books. So rather than being like, do the greatest hits, right. just show yeah. me everything oh, right, I've ever right. seen. Like, let now, them do what every good comic book creator does, takes the character and does and something original with it. Yeah. yeah. Like, that right now we're in the Man of Steel frenzy because this is the Man of Steel of our generation or this current generation. But 10 years, he's going to probably be like, hey, what do you think of the new Superman? Yeah, like, it's face. stupid. God. <laughs> be awesome. Are we all crusty and mad? <laughs> it's those moments where you realize, like, your involvement in the movie almost in a weird way diminishes over time. Yeah. You know, for me, it does. Like, you, for sure, the second you make it, you're like, I just made that thing, look at it. And then over time, it, it, it's its own, it, it yeah. lives on its own now. And, and that's really the, the fun moment for me. It's like when you first see it that first day and you go like, wow, that's a, that, that movie, that moment yeah. is a moment. And they were able to do stuff. He was able to do stuff with this movie where I'm like, all right, they showed me something new. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about that. This is a cool addition. This is, and that to me is what you do as an artist. No. You take something that exists sure. and you're like, I'm gonna do something different with it. I'm gonna do what I do with it. And it was bold. Well guys, make sure you check out the DVD. There's so many extras, so much good stuff. Watch it like 50 times like you did. So my first question is, is this how we're gonna have our office set up? Just, <laughs> just sitting across from each other I, like this. This, this <laughs> is our office all day. No, I, honestly, Dan, I'm like thrilled. I mean, I know this is a heavy decision, but mm -hmm. I'm thrilled the notion to be, finally be able to work with you in one location. Having United DC will mean some amazing, amazing things for the company. I look forward to that. From my standpoint, the more people we go, the more DC remains the same. And the goal is to make sure we saw the, the same company and a better sure, company at the sure. end of the day. And I could do the converse because 
you know, I, I see the energy and the excitement and, and the growth that's coming out of the out of the West Coast offices. Right. When you're over there, you hear about what's going on on the TV and film side. You hear about the video games and all those are the things that are taking aspects of the stories they're working on here and bringing sure. them out there. And I have to admit, I, I look at what's going on on the digital and I get a little jealous. No, dude. You know? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something. There's a tremendous amount of resources and, and uh, support out in the West Coast. We're able to put productions like DC All Access together. I mean, that yeah. was something that was worked out with telepictures and um, did not exist before someone came up with the idea of doing something cool like this. In a world where the magazine business or the, the newsstand business is collapsing or books are shifting to digital, we're showing growth in both print and digital. Our stuff is right. getting bigger. So from my standpoint, it's a great time to be at DC, to be reading DC, but more importantly, None of that's going to change by making a switch like that. I think that's the key message that we get out of all this, um, is the fact that we're going to be bigger, better, and stronger as we see the, as we see the months uh, and the, the years turning. And I'm, you know, I'm hoping for a long and healthy uh, run on this as we go forward. Sure, here. of yeah. course, man. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. So Injustice Ultimate Edition doesn't come out until November 12th, but we did get our hands on the game early because we are DC All Access. So I brought in yeah, Joe Vanshire here from Smosh Games because they're awesome at games and I'm a glutton for punnishment. And he's gonna, what, what, do we, what do we say earlier? Hand me my ass? Yes, is that, is that uh, I believe that was the correct terminology. All right, good, good. Well, I'm gonna pick Zatanna because she's magic and I want to astound you. How about this? Whoa, here I come. I'm a manhunter. I like that. Let me show you this bad breath. Oh, oh okay. Is that a kiss? Is that, oh, okay. Um, I love the one sniper over there on the, uh, yeah, the he's government gonna, Hummer. He's gonna help. Hey, don't don't run for me. I'm scared. Here, have a car. You know, every pretty lady should have a car. But I feel like you got your hands on it early because this is not going the way that I anticipated. Oh man, I went all Superboy on you and actually flew around the world ahead of time and then uh, grabbed it, practiced up a little bit. Hey, stop with the magic sparkler. I'm gonna be completely this isn't honest with you right July. now. I don't know how I'm accomplishing this. Well, here. Now you're accomplishing nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I kinda, kinda beat you there. Ah, hey, not cool, man. You come onto my <laughs> show and then like I beat you in front of everybody? No. No, no, no. Ah, oh. oh no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull this off. There it is. Ah. Oh. No juggle for you. Ah! You did good. If anything, you looked good I fighting. Did. I did, I did. I like this. Back to basics. Is that because you lost to Josh in Injustice? Yes. Yes, it is. Do you think maybe it was your character choice? You're probably right. You know what we should do? We should have the fans tell us who the most badass Injustice character is, and that would help me hone my skills. Yeah, and they can yeah. just tweet us with hashtag DC All Access. We'll pick one answer from one lucky fan, and they're going to win a signed copy of Game of the Year Edition. So many ways to win. Okay, well, well, you're thinking. Everyone just make sure to click this link so you can find out who won the Man of Steel DVD bundle from last week's contest. Got it. <clears throat> Defeat is the true injustice. We better hold our attention. It's man. like a, a post-game. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we are directors for a living. Yeah. Books, yes. yeah, I felt like I didn't, yeah. We didn't Watch how tough defense. it is to keep two directors on target. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, There's shiny objects in the room. Yeah, so. totally. <laughs>